Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the fifth uh, Sustainable Cosmetics Summit. It's a new territory, unfortunately, because the world of business is fundamentally unsustainable. So we have to create the sustainable solution. So it requires innovation, and this will not happen unless every member of the organization is encouraged, is empowered to unleash their creativity. Our name comes from an Iroquois quote, which is, in our every deliberation, we need to take into account the impact on the next seven generations. And that really is what we stand for. And frankly, it's the challenge that we have in front of all of us today. The global natural cosmetics market has grown from about 6.5 billion US dollars to almost 10 billion US dollars today. It's not driven by the companies that are developing the products, it's driven by consumers. Consumers are demanding green, natural, organic products. Companies are responding to that. This is a great gathering of suppliers, brands, um, and people who are interested from outside the industry. It's really a platform to share knowledge and to get infused with the latest trends around natural and organic cosmetics. The partners that you may have in the industry may not be your cheapest source, but you really have to really look at the total sustainable value of the price. Um, I would say it's also critical to know your suppliers and like that's not just like visiting their office and seeing their ingredients, it's actually going to the farms. The most valuable thing for me has been to be able to meet my peers in the industry and get their business cards and be able to have you know round tables together to network and work with other brands that have um, a, a like vision discussing what we can do to improve our industry as a collective. When you start hearing about all of the different facets that are involved in what you have to do to achieve sustainability, if, if this is not something you've thought deeply about for a long time, it can really seem kind of overwhelming. You know, how do you do all this stuff? But I don't think it has to be. When you recycle aluminum, glass, number one plastic, or paper, the value of that material after you go through the processing is greater than the cost of the processing. So there's a profit there. That's not the case for complex materials. We specialize in those materials that require separation or some other R&D solve to make it into a material that can be recycled. For those of us, for example, in the raw material supply side who are providing materials to cosmetic companies, it is not the case that many of the cosmetic companies, when we walk in the door, say, what do you have that's new to share? They usually say, how are you engaging in business out there? That is a sea change. So environmental preservation is key. Our thoughts and actions and your passion will create a consciousness. And if you are able to inspire, inspire others, you will support a bigger consciousness. It's increasing because everything is connected. We need patience. A lot of time we need patience till the critical mass is reached and sustainable living and responsibility for the future is in the mass consciousness. Then the real shift is alive.